Hi, my name is John Schwab, and I play Dandelion in The Witcher 2 and Witcher 3. My name is Doug Cockle, and I play Geralt of Rivia in Witcher 1, 2, and 3, and with the DLCs. Um, my name is Jamie Barbacoff. I play Triss Merigold in The Witcher 2 and 3. My name is Stephen Hartley, and I play Eridan in The Witcher 3. And uh, I die, but I want to be in The Witcher 4. <laughs> <laughs> it's been the theme of the I day. Love, the I theme love of you the day. Out, Stephen. I love it. The theme of the day, whether or not he returns in The Witcher 4. <laughs> he, 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 he doesn't actually die. What do you, he, he just got knocked out, and he wakes up, and he can't remember who he is. He's a really nice guy. Hold on, I, that would be great. I know that storyline. Do you? It's one of Geralt's, isn't it? Gets knocked out. <laughs> oh, comes, oh, yes. Um, don't I, give your storylines yeah. away. <laughs> oh. I think it would work, though. Yeah, it could. It's amazing to have you here with us. Um, I guess, obviously, we've had a lot of big Witcher news lately. Um, mm. One of them is the news that we are, hopefully, getting Witcher 4. Um, I guess whether you guys are involved or not, other things that you're hoping for from that, assuming that does eventually come through. And I guess the other big news that we can't avoid talking about is the fact that our magnificent live action uh, Geralt Henry Cavill mm. is now being surprisingly replaced uh, mm. by Mr. Liam Hemsworth. Mm. I'm curious, I mean, maybe starting with you, Doug, I know you've spoken before about how uh, impressed you were with what Henry had done with the live action mm. version, how you feel about that somewhat unexpected news for Witcher fans. I can only make assumptions about uh, that situation, uh, which is um, not very helpful, to be honest. Uh, th there's a lot of there's a lot of chat in the public about why he's leaving, um, and the um, Henry hasn't said it himself yet, but um, the chat says that he's leaving because he doesn't agree with the storylines that the writers have been developing. Um, and if that's the case, I can completely understand that because Henry is such a huge mm -hmm. fan of the games and the books and the writers on the Netflix series have uh, chosen for whatever reason they did so to uh, deviate quite severely from the books and the games um, whether that's good or not it's down to what you like you know uh, I personally don't understand the choice but um, there you go. I think that's why Henry. Henry, Henry. Um, I think that's why Henry is leaving. Um, Liam, more power to him, man. I, I, I do not envy <coughs> him. Big shoes to fill. Yeah. Um, the, the the games. Um, we know nothing. We are just as clueless as all of you. Uh, unless you're not telling I mean, me something. I mean, Stephen you know? may know something that he's yeah. not. <laughs> yeah. yeah, trust me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I wish I did. Yeah. Uh, but I have absolutely no idea. And uh, yeah, I don't care what Henry's doing. Trust me, Henry's pretty busy. I just think, uh, <laughs> I think Eridin should be back for the Witcher. <laughs> <laughs> and I also think that Eridin should turn up in the Witcher live series as mm. well. And uh, if Henry's too busy, they could just extend the everything character a bit. See how that goes. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yes, I, I don't. I, I mean, I guess Henry. Maybe he's doing something else. Who knows? He's a pretty busy boy. Yeah. Only got Bond in his sights. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bond. It'd be a good Bond. Yeah. It'd be an interesting. And Superman, yeah. I guess. Yeah. And Superman. Yeah. There's that exactly. little independent film Superman that there's a you know. <laughs> It, it, yeah, that they, they do. But no, look, you know, entertainment is entertainment. You know, the powers that be have have ideas about what people. You know, unfortunately, it doesn't include me as Dandelion, and never did uh, in the in the live series. But I'm not bitter. Uh, I'm trying to be better. Uh, no, but I, you know, I do it. I do enjoy that series. I, and as for the game, like, I don't. Yeah, I'd love to be to come back as Dandelion. If not, I'm still a fan of the game. I will still play Witcher Four. Yeah. Like, it will still take up a stupidly amount <laughs> of my morning time. You know, when I'm allowed to play games. So yeah. you know, I regardless if if they ask, great. And if they don't ask, great. At least there's a Witcher Four coming out. Mm. Yeah, they they put out an image of a of a, a Witcher medallion, and it uh, to me it looks like a lynx. So I don't know if that's what it is or not. But um, good body spray. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> no, I forget. Sorry, oh, Doug. Man. Sorry. Took me back to my teenage days. <laughs> um, yeah, so who knows? Who knows what the game is going to be? I, it, uh, we don't 
none of us know anything, but the indications from CD Projekt Red so far are that it will be different from what we've had before. Mm. Yeah. So we don't know if any of this are coming back. No, yeah. I know. I just I just know that they was they was talking about a three year development time. Yeah. So mm. that's a long time to get to where we would come in anyway. So who mm. who knows? What's perhaps more in terms of us, uh, me in particular, but I have no idea what they're going to do. But they're, they're remaking. Uh, rebuilding Witcher 1 in Unreal 5. Yeah. Um, so that may mean that they want to bring some people back to, to do additional or do all the voiceover work. I don't know how well that's aged um, mm. and how well that'll go into an Unreal uh, rebuild. So uh, again, though, we don't know anything. And the question for me is, will they, you know, it, Triss is in Witcher 1, so will they bring Jamie back as Triss or the the original, mm, yeah, original Triss, who yeah. didn't yeah. go forward. Yeah, it's lots of questions around that. <coughs> Are you all fans of the book series? And if so, how do you feel about the adaption versus the books and versus the games? That's going to be you. I, I haven't read the books. Um, I haven't read the books. I haven't, uh, I haven't gone back to the source material. But I, 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 well, I think when it all started, I, I, don't, I didn't know how much they were translated into English when it first started. So. Mm. Yeah, so so it's like I, I will go out. I'm a massive fantasy um, fan, and I will I will go back. It's fun. It's, it's on my list. Mm. I've read them all, um, and uh, <clears throat> but the the last wish only came out in English. I think I was about halfway through recording Witcher two, mm. so um, I went back to the source material, having had a really good introduction to the Witcher world. Um, I. I don't fully understand the timeline of when, when the games fall in time compared mm -hmm. to how the books end, because the books end in a very particular way. If you've read them, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, uh, that would be hard to carry on into the game from. Uh, but, uh, and I, I really, I don't want to, you know, rubbish anything. If you're talking about the uh, the, the Netflix series. Um, again, they've made choices that I don't particularly like, uh, but but they made them, and that television series stands on its own. Um, I would love to have a chat with the writers and just go. So why did you decide to do that? Um, not that it's wrong or bad. Just it's, it's an interesting <clears throat> choice. Um, it does deviate quite a bit from the books in my opinion. Uh, but then Netflix does that. Yeah, They do that with everything. Yeah. They just go and make their own stuff and throw it out into the world. Sorry, Netflix, I'm, I'm not trying to rubbish you, but... <coughs> I've got a couple of auditions for Netflix coming up, so... <laughs> 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 yeah. I love Netflix. So we just... Yeah, I did too. <laughs> Queen's Gambit was very faithful to the book. <laughs> Walter Tevis, we love you. Well, he's dead. Yeah, don't quote me on that about Netflix. <laughs> Come on. Teasing. You auditioning for everything. Yeah, that's the one, yeah. No, no. I mean, oh, damn it. The remake of, of one. Of which one? Yeah, I mean, again, so I mean, this is something we've been speaking about quite a bit, is that, you know, when we come in, we are the last part. So we, we, don't, we don't really get to, uh, aren't free to, uh, to, to know anything. So I don't know if it's going to change. Would I like to see them change anything? I mean, I love Tim Beckman. He's a very good friend of mine. I wouldn't mind revoicing his character. <laughs> But is like, is there anything to change? Do you want to change anything in the game, like from your point of view? Like, is there anything? No, I, no. I, you know, actually, going for, I'd love to see. You were talking about the engine, like it, the the thing about which one? Story it, it, the story? No, I think the storyline fit. The for, the storyline sits. I don't it's, even it's, remember the storyline. I mean, it's really simple. I think that it could build out what what you didn't have in the original game was literally the the, the expansive world and running through mm -hmm. forests and getting side quests. You didn't have that. It was very much a story mode. So I would I would love to see that. In, in the new Witcher game, is all this, you know, really exploring all all of the Northern Realms, like mm -hmm. just being able to go into the nooks and crannies of the forests and, and kind of come across somebody who needs help or, you know, finding a monster's nest or something. That that kind of stuff is is what makes for me mm -hmm. Witcher so, you know, easily playable and, and going back to. So yeah, that, I think that's what is missing for Witcher One. I don't. That's just a personal choice. Mm -hmm. I can't remember enough about yeah. Witcher One to really have an opinion <laughs> about it. Doug is um, old. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's a long time ago. Um, 
And it's, it's not down to me. You know, anything I say here is certainly not going to affect CD Projekt Red's choices. So, um, I'm, How long I'm just, is it since you voiced Witcher 1? You were saying I, oh, voiced, yes. I, I did Witcher 1 in 2005. Yes, Do you probably own all of these guys that you did all of them? Yeah, they, he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I bring it up every time. <laughs> yeah. chance I get. He sends me texts, just reminding me. Just random text. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Just remember, yeah. remember. Remember, <laughs> yeah. I've done three. <laughs> well, you know, five, really. <laughs> yeah. DLCs. DLCs, <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. I've literally just got done replaying the, uh, the second and the third Porsche from Replay first, and every single time I play it, I say I'm just going to go through, just the mainline it, go yeah. through it, and I veer off. It ended up being about 130 mm. hours again, yeah. particularly that third game. The writing and the performances are so strong, but mm -hmm. is there any particular side quests or sequences of stories that you all really love? And of course, if you did play the game for the bully, did you pick Yennefer or Triss? Uh, <laughs> well, I, I can honestly say that I, I chose Triss. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Yeah, I chose seriously, Triss. Triss. Not because of Jamie, though. Hang on a minute. This <laughs> 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 answer no, change. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's... Um, yeah, it's a, it's a common question, yeah. um, and uh, everybody has a different answer. Uh, I mean, both of those female characters are so wonderfully written and, you know, deep and, you know, and they're so uh, contradictory as well. You know, uh, Yen couldn't be further from Triss mm. in terms of their personality and their approach to romance and the world and everything else. So it, it you know, it comes down to I think how much pain you want in your life, you know. If you if you like the passionate relationship that is turbulent and um, stuff like that, we all we have all done that. We all dated somebody who wasn't really good for us, but boy, did we like them, <laughs> didn't we? You know. Um, so then you go for Yen. I I like. I like a decent human being. That's terrible. No, that's the, I, I, I like Tris because she, her character felt more like a, a good friend. His companion. What's the, she's yeah. a companion. Like the, it is. It is mercurial. Um, Jennifer and, and Geralt like yeah. the same. I, I was a. I was a, a, a team Tris as well. Mm -hmm. But I mean, g going back to your, your question, like the, the side quests are so good. The, I, I, they keep going through, and I, I just remembered one of my favorite ones was the. The guy you keep fighting is recently betrothed, and he starts off really terrible, and he doesn't know how to fight. And then you keep meeting him throughout the game. He's and he's got his posse with him, and you know you get to scale. He's there, and he keeps getting more armor, and he's just hopeless. And you keep t spanking him and telling him to go back, give up, and he never does. I, that was quite fun. Mm. Do you remember that I guy? Don't remember that yeah, guy. Yeah, he's he keeps showing. He's like a. He wants to prove himself yeah, as he a. Wants to be the best fighter, he, he wants to be the best fighter, so he starts out. But he starts out with nothing, so you fist fight him, and then you just basically keep spanking him. You come up, you keep, you come across him every now and then. He's got his posse. He gets more bravado, and I keep ch telling him, "Go home, go home." But then I, you know, you end up fighting. That's a, that's a fun one. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't have any favorite side quests. Um, I I think I said this at the panel actually. Uh, I think my favorite part of The Witcher Three is is the is the search for Siri, um, and I mean that is the main thrust of the game, really. But mm -hmm. it feels like a side quest with all the side quests, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. Um, so yeah, I, I, it's, it's just it, there's a beautiful story arc with the whole relationship with Siri and Geralt that I just think, think is beautifully constructed. So that's my favorite bit. And Gwent, I like a good game of Gwent. Oh, I don't <laughs> my son I is. Yeah, I know. I do. So I my yeah. son is extraordinarily lucky in cards, and again, so I, I mean, honestly, through because I'm doing, I've, I'm going back to play as well. I'm doing all the cycles. I'm completing. So I didn't leave Velen until I got I got through all except for the monsters I couldn't kill. So it. But Gwent, just he he gets so lucky. So if I can, I just say, Jack, come, can you play? And he will win every single time. First time, doesn't matter what deck he's playing with. You know, Monster in the Realm, Squirtel, you know, Nilfgaard. It does it. He, he wins. It does, and you can give him anything. He'll do it. I think there's I a max to it. Every time. I, even when I played co collectible card games, you know, like, like Magic Gathering and yeah. stuff like that in, in, in you know, real life, um, I was always terrible. It's because we're, we're lucky in love. That's what my wife tells me. Bad at cards, lucky in love. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. You'll send this to my wife, right? <laughs> <laughs>